up? It's the Hempman Channel, and it's uh, the 7th, Thursday, the 7th, February 2013. Got a, it, an article in front of me from the, the column US under WND.com. Um, I've, been, I've been meaning to get into this article because uh, this is a really good... Um, this is something that I've ne I haven't heard Bruce Willis too outspoken, so I'm kind of, you know, shocked. Bruce Willis unloads on gun grabbers. Why wouldn't they take all your rights away from you? Or, yeah, I mean, he said he said it right there. Why wouldn't they take all your rights away from you? We're in too deep. The government has been caught doing way too much, too way too much stuff, man. And they've been caught, and they have to answer for it. So now they're trying to, they're trying to pull off all the stops to to keep us from putting them in jail because they are brainwashing people to believe that Barack Obama through the main, mainstream media is some trendy um, I mean you go to the you go to the grocery store and you'll see a tabloid you'll even see Barack Obama on these tabloids you guys like that's how much they want you to pay attention and, and make it look like he's a normal person some celebrity like like you know it's something out of Stalin Russia it's something out of uh, uh, Nazi Germany man it's, so, it's really crazy this stuff is really it really happens all the time and it's just it's crazy for you to, to be able to discern whether you can tell if it's white or black propaganda that you see in front of you every day. And it's all, um, it's all, it's all spiritual warfare, you guys. That's what, that's what constantly goes on in your mind. It's always a battle of good and evil. Nothing good comes from the flesh. You have to, uh, you have to look at the only one who is truly good to become good. And that's pretty much what sanctifies you and makes you set apart from everyone else is your faith in God. I mean, I've been reading some testimonies from people having some... I mean, it really is true, man. People are, I think, already starting to perform miracles these days, man. And it's like... It's pretty... It's, people are getting so... like They're giving all their time to God. I mean, that's how you get these gifts, these spiritual gifts, like the discerning of spirits, all this stuff. You have to pay the price. You have to spend time with God. Like it or lump it. Read your Bible. Read your Bible, pray. I mean, you, you, like Jesus said, nobody became perfect at praying the first time they prayed. You'll get it the more you do it, and you'll get how to do it the more you do it. So, And, and, and all of this is Holy Spirit uh, inspired, so you know it's the truth. You can trust the Holy Spirit when you hear the truth, because you will know in your heart, it'll, you will know with all of your being with that it's all, all the way true. Man. If it's in the Word of God, it has to be true. Because it, it's just, I mean, it's so unfathomable to me. I can't even comprehend it. That it, it, I can't even explain it to you. There's no way I can make it, you know. I can't make you realize that. You have to go and search it and seek it out for yourself. Bruce Willis on Loads on Gun Grabbers. This is from AP. Uh, Bruce Willis, don't infringe on Second Amendment. The Los Angeles Associated Press. Bruce Willis says he's against new gun control laws that could infringe on Second Amendment rights. The diehard star also dismisses all link between Hollywood shootouts and real-life gun violence. I think that you can't start to pick apart anything out of the Bill of Rights without thinking that it's all going to become undone, Willis told the Associated Press. In a recent interview while promoting his latest film, A Good Day to Die Hard, if you take one out of change one... Uh, yeah, if you take one out or change one law, then why wouldn't they take all your rights away from you? Pretty much, you know, Willis' fifth, Willis's fifth outing as wisecracking cop John McClain due, to theater, uh, due in theaters February 14th comes as his action franchise marks its 25th anniversary. The 57-year-old actor, I uh, didn't mean to say it like that, I mean, you know, God bless him, he's, he's young. <laughs> A 57-year-old actor will also be fi uh, seen firing away at bad guys in the upcoming sequel, G.I. Joe, Retaliation, and Red 2, both due later this year. But he believes the real topic is diminished, is diminished um, when observers link Hollywood entertainment with high-profile mass shootings like those last year in Connecticut and Colorado. No one commits a crime uh, because they saw a film. There's nothing to support that, Willis said. We're not making movies about people that have gone berserk or gone nuts. Those kind of movies wouldn't last very long at all. Willis added that he doesn't see how additional legislation could prevent sh future mass shootings. It's a difficult thing, and I, I really feel bad for those families, he said. I'm a father, and it's just a tragedy, but I don't know how you legislate insanity. I don't know what you do about it. Um, 
I don't even know how you begin to stop that. I mean, well, you know, that's coming from Bruce Willis. He's, he's cool. I like Bruce Willis and all that. He's cool. But you know where all that comes from? It comes from uh, absolutely being infested by evil spirits, man. Guard your heart. Guard your mind. Your te your body is a temple, man. And you're, and if you're not guarding what you what what you're being fed, if you're being fed things every day through the media, through everything, your food, everything that is that you do, has something to do with. Um, I mean, it's 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 pretty simple because it's a. There's a spirit of all types of things. The spirit of oppression, though, is something that keeps you linked to something that keeps you bound to not ever escaping to to ever. Uh, I mean, it, there's such depths of this. I mean, Satan is a ridiculous liar. He is so good at lying that it's he's been doing it since the beginning, pretty much. So he's got ways, you know. He's he's created these things like churches, like you know to control people back in the day, you know what I mean, like, he can do the most wicked, he can make us do the most ridiculous stuff, we're bad on our own, but, I mean, when we, when we allow things, like, I mean, it is always on you, it is always on you, you cannot be condemned unless you give consent to it, it you cannot be condemned, you are, you know, the, the church, the, uh, the old Catholic church that was oppressing the, uh, German people, like Martin Luther, we're telling them they couldn't understand the Bible, so don't listen, to, you know, don't try to read it. It was only in Latin. They didn't have it in their language. So they were oppressing them and making them buy indulgences, making them say, like, you got to pay this much to be forgiven for this sin and that sin or whatever. But, you know, that's how ridiculous things can get. 24% of Christians that lived in East Germany at the time of Nazi Germany voted for Hitler. That is horrifying to think that there are Christians that are willing to let people like like President Obama and by the way I had a black, an African American guy yell at me yesterday because I told him that look at all the Obama supporters and how like educated they are they don't even talk right like they really don't like they're they're they don't even make sense sometimes when they talk and this guy got so offended by what I said and 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 it goes to show how backward they are because of what whatever he said in the beginning it was all about him. He was trying to make, he was self-righteous for first of all. He was trying to, he was acting all self-righteous. And then he said, F you and everything you stand for. And I'm like, all right, cool, whatever, man. You know what, you know what the good thing about being a Christian is though, is that everything that comes out of your mouth is what comes back to you. Whatever you judge people with is going to be judged unto you. Whatever you measure people is going to be measured unto you. So when I see somebody and they curse me, it's just going to come back to them. It, whatever they say to me has nothing to do with me, man. It has uh, whatever, man. You could, it's a, it, for first of all, he is under the impression that black African Americans are over and jailed. First of all, the, he probably watches Fox News because they don't report the mass amount of crime that black mobs cause. And, and as it's absolutely not reported in the mainstream media. It is the most bizarre thing ever. I mean, it sounds like I'm lying. That's how crazy it is. But um, subscribe to my channel. Always come back. You know, you guys are always welcome. You guys come down. And I'll try to keep my potty mouth clean because I know it's getting better. Thanks to you guys praying maybe. And, you know, uh, officially, start. I'm going to start making my videos larger. larger. I'm probably going to look into it today. But, you know, depending on what I got going on. And uh, like, like I always say, you guys... Go do your own research. Don't listen to people and what they say. Ultimately, nothing good comes from the flesh unless it is Holy, Sp Holy Spirit inspired. And then you got to also know whether you have to know whether something is good or not. You can't just go along with everything. If you don't stand for anything, you will fall for anything. So remember that. And uh, just like just like that one great quote from, you know, that one person that was a uh, lived in, you know, the Nazi Germany times, you know, first they came for the you know, Jews, and then, you know, you know how that quote goes, you know, first, it's divide and conquer, you guys, they're going to take over certain people, like, probably Christians, they're probably going to take Christians out first, they're probably going to be burning me from a, from a light post one day, pretty soon, and then, when, after you're done killing me and all my friends, you guys are all going to have to suffer too, because you guys are going to realize that you got rid of all the cool people, and then you guys are now going to be slaves, and then get killed off, and then I'm going to be like, well, at least, you know, that's probably not going to happen to me, honestly. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get that. I think I'm too smart to stay away from all that stuff because 
I'm getting prepared as, I, as I'm telling you guys this because this is what this information is for. If you're smart, you're going to look into this and know that you're going to prepare for it, whether, you know, good or bad. Who knows where this is going? Every day, you know, the progress of time will tell. So stay, stay focused on the words of the Lord and read your Bibles and pray, man. And uh, God bless you guys. I'll see you guys later.